Hello, K-Entertainment enthusiasts. Welcome back to I Got News, where the latest buzz in Korean entertainment comes to life. If you're passionate about the beats of K-pop, the twists and turns of K-dramas and everything in between, you're in the right place. We're here to keep you in the loop with the freshest updates, juiciest gossip, and exclusive insights from the Korean entertainment scene. We're all about staying on top of the hottest trends and delivering them straight to your screen. So buckle up, fellow K-Entertainment enthusiasts. I Got News is here to be your ultimate guide through the dazzling world of K-pop, K-drama, and beyond. Before we dive into the news, make sure you hit like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and comment below. Stay tuned until next time. Today, we're talking about the latest episode of SBS Running Man airing on June 16th. It's all about the intense futsal showdown between FC Tuck and FC KK UK. Let's dive in. Last week, we saw the three road Huang Hee Chan Cup futsal one in cup kickoff. FC Tuck, led by coach Yu Jae Seok, scored the first goal of the match thanks to their foreign mercenary, Huang Hee Chan. They took an early lead with a 2 0 score. Viewers were thrilled with Hee Chan's performance. Comments flooded in saying, Huang Hee Chan alone makes such a difference to the team and he's the golden assist that turns even development into blonde. This week promises an even more intense match. He chan had confidently announced that he would assist each player on his team to score a goal, but as soon as the second half began, things didn't go as planned. Despite his own stellar performance, his teammates missed crucial chances, leading to frustration for He chan He chan showed off his Yu He chan side, stamping on the ground in anger, making everyone laugh despite the tension. On the other side, coach Kim yong Guk's FC KK UK faced their greatest crisis yet with Hee Chan's arrival. Kim yong Guk emphasized that soccer is never played alone and Hee Chan has his limits alone. He devised a strategic comeback plan, exploiting the gaps in FC Tuck. With ace players Yang S. Hee Chan and Kang Hoon staring up the net with their Tiki Taka passes and the defense putting in an all-out effort. FCKK UK created a tense atmosphere. They aim to block He Chan's solo runs and capitalize on every opportunity. This week's episode promises to be a nail biter. Will FC Tuck manage to hold onto their lead, or will FCKK UK make a triumphant comeback? The stakes are higher than ever. Thank you for joining I Got News today. If you loved what you saw, hit like, share, and subscribe for more K-Entertainment updates. Your support means the world! Drop your thoughts below and let's keep the K-Entertainment conversation alive. As we sign off, keep spreading the K-Entertainment love, stay tuned, and most importantly, stay fabulous. Until we meet again for more exciting news and updates,